A little while back during recess duty, I was watching students as they threw recess balls up into a tree to try and dislodge a ball that had been stuck in the tree. Many times the new balls would be stuck in the tree as well, and so it was quite a funny thing to watch. Plus we had to keep chasing balls all over the place. Eventually, I think the wind blew that ball out of the tree, but it reminded me of one of my favorite stories, Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. In that story, a child gets a kite stuck in the tree, proceeds to throw many different objects into that tree, and soon the tree is filled with gigantic objects. Everything was stuck. So the illustrations, the pictures in that book are so beautiful and trees are always so beautiful. I was inspired to see how I could make my own stuck picture with paper and crayons and some water-based items. So I'm drawing kind of a rounded rectangle with a few split offs. You can do more than I did here, but that will show the bottom of the tree, the trunk and the top of the tree in a very simple way like Oliver Jeffers. Lines create the outside of the tree and the texture inside of the tree. Little short dash lines look like bark. You can use more than one color when you're making art. These blue lines look like a shadowy side of the tree and these yellow lines make the other side look like the sun is hitting it. Then you can have fun making a loopy, tangly treetop, just like Oliver Jeffers did in his illustrations. The more loopy, scribbly twirls you have, the more tangly your tree will be. Choose any color you want. And then I created a blue shadow on the side of my tree that has the shade. Then you can use any water-based media you want up in the tree canopy. The canopy is that top part. I'm using a red water-based marker and you can also use water-based things like watercolor or water tempera and then use water and a brush to fill that color in and wash all around your scribbly lines. By having more than one color in your tree, it looks a little bit more like nature colors blending changing this will be a beautiful autumn time tree because it will have yellows and oranges and reds but did you see in the book he has a pink tree sometimes a dark green tree other times have fun with the way that color and nature and light play with our eyes and make things super beautiful i'm also going to use a little bit of brown here fill in my trunk color. I love how illustrations can be made quickly and simply, even in a book. Once you feel your tree is super cute, you can start to draw and cut out and glue on your random objects. I found this picture of a plant I thought would be really cool. The crazier the better. Add as many weird things to your tree illustration as you can possibly think of.